Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Saturday, July 15th, 2023. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. The remnant of people in Judea have uh, begun their journey down to Egypt. Uh, the governor that was appointed by King Nebuchadnezzar has been assassinated, and they are afraid of retaliation on the part of Nebuchadnezzar and the Chaldeans. They asked Jeremiah to go to the Lord and seek his counsel. And Jeremiah came back and said the Lord told them to stay in Judea and live under the governance of the Chaldeans. Jeremiah also predicted that the people were not going to listen. He was correct. Today we are going to see them uh, disobey the, the Lord's word, go back on their word to obey what the Lord said, and head down to Egypt. And as they are traveling to Egypt, uh, Jeremiah is going to be uh, told by the Lord to carry out another object lesson, to show the people that the safety that they are seeking in Egypt is not what they will find there. When Jeremiah had finished speaking to all the people, all the words of the Lord their God, all these words the Lord their God had sent him to give them, then Azariah son of Hoshiah, Johanan son of Kareah, and all the other arrogant men responded to Jeremiah, You are speaking a lie. The Lord our God has not sent you to say, You must not go to Egypt to stay there for a while. Rather, Baruch son of Neriah is inciting you against us to hand us over to the Chaldeans, to put us to death or to deport us to Babylon. So Johanan son of Kareah, all the commanders of the armies and all the people failed to obey the Lord's command to stay in the land of Judah. Instead, Johanan son of Kareah and all the commanders of the armies led away the whole remnant of Judah those who had returned to stay in the land of Judah from all the nations where they had been banished. They led away the men, women, children, king's daughters, and everyone whom Nebuzaradan, captain of the guards, had allowed to remain with Gedaliah, son of Ahikam, son of Shaphan. They also led the prophet Jeremiah and Baruch, son of Neriah, away. They went to the land of Egypt because they did not obey the Lord. They went as far as Tapanis. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah at Tapanis. Pick up some large stones and set them in the mortar of the brick pavement that is at the opening of Pharaoh's palace at Tapanis. Do this in the sight of the Judean men and tell them, This is what the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says. I will send for my servant Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and I will place his throne on these stones that I have embedded, and he will pitch his pavilion over them. He will come and strike down the land of Egypt, those destined for death to death, those destined for captivity to captivity, and those destined for the sword to the sword. I will kindle a fire in the temple of Egypt's gods, and he will burn them and take them captive. He will clean the land of Egypt as a shepherd picks lice off his clothes, and he will leave there unscathed. He will smash the sacred pillars of the sun temple in the land of Egypt and burn the temples of the Egyptian gods. Our psalm for today is Psalm 19. In this psalm, David describes what we can learn from uh, learn about the Lord just by looking at his work in creation. But he also shows that we can learn a lot more about the Lord by listening to his word. Psalm 19, for the choir director, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God and the expanse proclaims the work of his hands. Day after day they pour out speech. Night after night they communicate knowledge. There is no speech. There are no words. Their voice is not heard. Their message has gone out to the whole earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming from his home 
It rejoices like an athlete running a course. It rises from one end of the heavens and circles to the other end. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The instruction of the Lord is perfect, renewing one's life. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, making the inexperienced wise. The precepts of the Lord are right, making the heart glad. The command of the Lord is radiant, making the eyes light up. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are reliable and altogether righteous. They are more desirable than gold, than an abundance of pure gold, and sweeter than honey dripping from a honeycomb. In addition, your servant is warned by them, and in keeping them there is an abundant reward. Who perceives his unintentional sins? Cleanse me from my hidden faults. Moreover, keep your servant from willful sins. Do not let them rule me. Then I will be blameless and cleansed from blatant rebellion. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.